Good evening, everybody. Thank you for waiting. Now I keep getting notifications for my own videos. That's so weird. But um, I appreciate y'all waiting. I hope that most of y'all got a chance to watch the video that I uploaded. I try to do it as soon as I can, as I could have, but I got thrown behind time schedule again. So I apologize that the video um, was very close to the time that the live started. So that's why I try to give y'all a little bit to go ahead and watch it. Um, hello, everybody. Like I said, um, I greatly appreciate y'all being here and waiting. Like I said, um, as y'all come into the room, if you can give it a thumbs up, I'd greatly appreciate it. Hi, Meg. Like I said, and then um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you are interested in this kind of subject matter, this is the type of tarot readings that I do do the most of. So if you are interested in being involved in the future for live chats like this, you can go ahead and hit the uh, notification bell over here and the subscribe bar. And it will let you know in real time whenever I'm doing, um, like, like right now I'm offering two spreads tonight for super cheap. Or you can ask any random question about the spread that I just did, again, for very cheap. So that would be up to you if you choose to do so. But, um, again, hello to Meg and Darlene. Shauna, another Meg R12, um, and Samantha, Kamara, Hi Star. I think Mystic is here. I saw earlier. Hi Mystic. Hi Jinx. Hi Whitney. How are you? So, um, did anybody get a chance to watch um? Yeah, right? I know. Hi, Jinx. Um, did anybody get a chance to watch the video, though? I know it was really, like, close to the live and, and things like that, but I did try my best to... Yeah, I know. I agree. Um, Choco, so, I mean, I don't know what's going on with parents these days. Hey, Anita, how are you, sweetie? I was going to call you, but I kind of ran behind because my babysitter didn't show up when they were supposed to so that I could start my live and start my recording when I was supposed to. So that's why I'm running behind, too. So I do apologize. Okay. So, yeah, it was just basically a run. I, I, I don't know how many people are aware of the case. I had saw it. Um, I don't even know why I saw it to begin with, honestly. I do remember hearing about it, and I don't know if it was because all of his face tattoos and all that shit, and it stood out. But I do remember hearing about, I want to say it was Oregon or something that happened. And I really didn't look up the state. I just looked up the facts of what happened in the case and what they did. Um, and the sentencing and all that and stuff. And um, that's why I posted the video of the mom sentencing. Because you could see on the Facebook page I posted it on. And I don't know if I posted it to my Twitter or not. But she was very aggravated in the sentencing. Like she was like shaking her foot and like kind of acting almost like a child. You know, she wouldn't stand up. And the judge actually even had to ask her to stand up. And even her lawyers were like respond, you know, like stop not saying anything. So um, she tried to make it sound like she didn't know any better because of her childhood. But at the same time, like if you grew up in a shitty childhood, you would think you would do your best to make sure your kids don't do the same. Right. I mean, at least at least the best you can. So it, it's just, um, what's wrong, Anita? Mm. Yeah, eating sounds good. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I had heard about it, but I was pregnant, actually, the year it happened. Like, I had Connor, like, a couple weeks later, and he was premature. So, I I kind of had my own things going on already in the hospital when all this happened. So, that's I do remember hearing about it and then seeing her being sentenced on TV. And, like, they showed how she kind of threw a tantrum about it. And I was kind of shocked that she um, did that in front of the judge because she wouldn't even stand up like her own lawyers had to tell her to stand up. even the judge had to tell her to stand up like i said it's almost like it was almost like a um watching a teenager like kind of not get their way and it was like it kind of does show you what her true like how easily she did get frustrated and that's why i kind of felt like during the reading she had a lot more to do with her death than what she claimed Maybe she put the baby in the bag to set the guy up. I don't know. And I'm not saying the guy didn't do anything. I'm not saying that at all. 
but I got a lot more heavy negative and, and, and kind of crooked energy from her than what I did him. I do have to say that. Whoops. I'm sorry. You don't feel good, Anita. I'm glad you're here. If you're tired, you know, don't, you know, you're always welcome to go ahead. Hey, Ryan. Yes, welcome new people, everyone that's new to the Southern Soul Tarot family. We love having new people come in and weigh in on their opinions. Um, we greatly appreciate it, like I said, and my hands and stuff. Okay. Okay. Do you, Are you able to, like, use a cream or something for that, Anita? Oh, uh, thank you. I don't know. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Yeah, you know what's funny, though, Anita? I've been getting notifications for my own videos. <laughs> like, I'm like, I know I'm live. I'm on. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then the people who are trying to get their notifications are getting it. The only thing I can think of is, like, un like, un like hit the notification bells, like, turn it off, and then turn it back on. And then there's, like, three options, and I would just hit the top one, so that way whatever anything is, like, uploaded, if you're interested in it, you'll always see it. So, um, I, I don't know. That's the only thing I could really think of to suggest, to be completely honest. I mean, I don't know any other way to do it. Yeah. Hi, Riley. Thank you. Yeah, and I've been wanting to do more readings, like, where I upload them like I used to. I really used to enjoy that, and um, I just like it. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and give y'all, you know, the orbs and the whole effect of everything. And and so that way y'all can kind of, you know, we can have something to talk about it. Like I said, I know we do, I have the spread set up for tonight. We can do that too, but I also want to give us something else to talk about. So, um, hi, Gina. How are you? The TV is loud. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it probably took you to the other one first, yeah. Because I should notify you for any video. So if I do the, the uploaded ones, like regular ones, it probably will give you both notifications. Hi, Amanda. How are you? So does anybody have anything they want to weigh in on about the case who who is familiar with it? And we can maybe ask a few questions. Um, if not, like, I don't know. Again, I don't know if y'all want to do spreads and stuff. Again, it's almost 10 o'clock, so I don't want to stay up too late because I don't mind talking about the case and stuff. But, um, oh, is it there still? Yeah, no stupid people. FM, because he's already messaged me again because he's a psychopath. So, um, which he'll probably, I wouldn't be surprised if he shows up or he's watching the conversation right now. So, um, yeah, very sad case. That's what I'm saying. And the way it was done, it was like a two-week-old baby. Like, I mean, any baby in general, but two weeks old, like, and y'all literally, like, beat the babies. Like, you beat him to, the baby to death. Like, you broke every bone, pretty much, that it had in its skull. So, it's a little bit odd, you know, that it was that, like, um, overkill. You know what I mean? That's why I think it was, like, them coming off the meth or something and maybe having a bit of, like, an attitude or something. Or not attitude, but you know how they are when they come off. They're, like, all, like, edgy and shit. So, I don't know if I said hi, Julie. Hi. Um, I said, as y'all come in the room, if you can give it a thumbs up, I greatly appreciate it. We usually do chats like this after the videos that I upload, so that way y'all can go ahead and kind of weigh in on y'all's opinion and what y'all think, and maybe y'all might have some information that we don't have or vice versa. So that we can kind of put it together with our metaphysical gifts, and we can kind of figure out what was maybe possibly going on. Um, so 
I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe and the notification bell as well. So that way it'll let you know whenever we have chats like this in the future. And if you know anybody else who likes these kind of um, chats and metaphysical things, then we would greatly appreciate it if you could share it with them. So, um, oh, did you? I haven't got a chance to check it yet. I'll check it. Because I have to put my phone on like airplane mode or otherwise it'll cut the recording off if something comes through. Mm. Well, they said she already, like, they said, like, basically that the baby was, like, what, two weeks old? And I think they said she had already stayed with, like, other family members for, like, four to six days, which is very odd. Like, and I'm not saying every day in a row, but, that I mean, like, who gives their newborn baby to their family to go out for four to six days for the first two weeks of their life? Like, I wouldn't even leave the house with my baby. Like, he was a preemie. I understand that. And so I, I was more extra protective. But it was so was even wasn't until even after like the winter was over before I felt comfortable leaving the house with him. And he was born the end of October. So like, it probably wasn't until like February almost and maybe maybe March when it started getting warm that I felt comfortable leaving with him. Unless I had to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The dad said that he had brought the baby back and the baby was in perfect condition. And that's when all that stuff happened. And that's what I'm saying. But then the guy said that he went over there, which was her cousin, and that he and that she called him and told him that she wanted, to, you know, and of course he was doing the math too, but she invited him over to smoke meth. So that's what I'm saying. she was already doing it. And he even said the next day she didn't feel good. So that's why she wanted to go do drugs while they were looking for the baby. So instead of going to look for her own baby, she went to go get a fix. So she didn't feel like shit, just like her boyfriend did or whatever he is to her, the baby's dad. But um, they were both doing drugs while ever while everybody else was looking for their child. So, I mean, that kind of shows you right there the mentality. So, well, I know he said they 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 did it at their house the night before, and then he said the next morning they went to kind of go get coffee and went to go look for the baby's body or you know, the baby's body, because it was, it did pass, but they said they went to go look for the baby, and that's when they got the phone call that they found the baby at the trailer park, like, right across the street, so they literally, like, he made a sign, they jumped off the car, ran over there instead of drove, because that's how close it was, and that that's when they found the bag that had her body in it, so, um, I'm not really, really sure. I don't know. I think it's because she was doing drugs like right away and the whole time, you know, before. she was probably doing them while she was pregnant. So it's probably why she had no attachment to the baby because she never stopped doing the drugs. So she never got sober. This is the, um, McNabb case. It was, um, uh, Courtney Bell and, uh, Christopher McNabb. And it was, um, uh, I want to say Sila McNabb, but I don't want to say it wrong. So hold on one second. I have it written down. Kalia. It's Kalia uh, McNabb. And like I said, she was two weeks old. Both of her parents basically beat her to death from what we know. Like I said, they said the uh, medical examiner said that she um, had had skull fractures all through the head. That when she went to fill the baby's head, it was completely soft. That there was no hard spots where there should be. That um, some type of, of sharp, sharp object was used because she used the word incised wound, which is usually something that is a sharp object, which is inserted into the face, which was near the eye socket. And then um, it says that, um, yeah, you know, he received life. She received 15 years in prison, 15 years of possible parole, unless they're both, um, you know, get an appeal. But I don't see it happening for either one of them because the baby had fractures to the skull, face, and then even bruises all over the body. And then it was found in his bag with his stuff. And then it was like a, in their trailer park. So, um, I said, this happened October, 2017 and they got sentenced on, our, um, May of 2019. So like I said, my son, like I said, and that's why I kind of just am barely catching up with it because I had my son a month early, like that month. So that's why kind of why I, I remember hearing about it, but I didn't remember. And I saw some of the trial, but I didn't really get to follow what exactly happened to the baby. So, um, now that I know, I mean, obviously, you know, oh, welcome from Rhode Island. 
And I want to thank you and welcome to everybody in the room who's who's just joining us. And this is their first time. Welcome to the Southern Soul Tarot Family Group. Like I said, um, we are a metaphysical channel. We um, use facts also with um, tarot cards, other things, crystals, pendulums, um, any type of other work that we use, EVPs, rods, things like that, um, to kind of help us go ahead and get the answers that we're looking for on top of the facts from the news. So we do do use, we do use facts. So it does unless it makes sense to us, we don't really use it. We'll drop it at the door and then we'll just kind of move on to the next thing that makes more sense to us. So um, yeah, I mean, they said it was a blunt. Like at least uh, they made it sound like. Um, I mean, she said in the medical report that it was. She said it wasn't so much a blunt object, but she thinks that, like, they crushed its skull. She, I, it sounded more like they just kept, like, he kept, like, whoever it was, whether it was her, him, or both of them, they kind of just kept hitting the baby in the head over and over again until the baby's head just eventually cracked. That's what it sounds like. And then, like, then maybe they, they did something because, like I said, it said that to the death, the skull had m multiple fractures, but also had a sharp cut near the eye, which was used for, by a, a sharp object. So, um, I mean, that's the report. And then they had also pushed, that's what I'm saying, I think that's why they hit her in the face really hard, because um, obviously a two-month-old baby is not going to be teething. So when they went to the autopsy and pulled her mouth open, they had hit her or pushed her so hard in her mouth that her teeth were already coming through her gums. And so that's pretty hard for a two a two week old to have their teeth already breaking through because of how hard they were pushing the child's mouth. So, um, yeah, it was Georgia. I think I said Georgia. I'm not really sure. I might have said Oregon, but um, yeah, that's all I know is that um, that the lady said because they showed a picture. They didn't show the autopsy pictures, but they did ask what was it. That was coming through the gums. And that's when she said it was the teeth that they had pushed so hard. The teeth come through, came through the gums. That's what they said. He had beat the mom. But then there was there was actually contra controversial stories about that. And because like her own family said every time they saw her, she never had bruises. So um, that's the only thing about that. Like even her own family got on the stand and said that they never saw like the day that she claimed that she was all beaten up. And that's what she like when it happened, I guess. And she was scared. They said that um, that um, she didn't have anything on her like 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 she claimed to have. Yeah. And like I'm, saying, I'm not saying it's not the man at all, but I'm saying she, I definitely think she participated more than what she's claiming she did. She made it sound like she don't she don't understand nothing or don't, or, you know, or she was asleep the whole time. Bullshit. You don't hear your, your, your boyfriend beating the crap literally to death out of your newborn baby. And you're in the same house and you don't hear anything like at all. You don't hear a baby. Like, you don't hear nothing. Like, I don't know. I just, I know when my baby's a newborn, I, I'm, I'll watch it sleep. So that's what I'm kind of like. And that's just me. Like, it's just my opinion. I'm just, um, I do think the man has something to do with it, but I think she did too. I, th I think that she's lying about her part in it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they've gotten their asses beat a lot, to be honest, in prison, Gina. So. Yeah, exactly. So... Yeah, and that's what they were saying. It's the meth. Like they were coming off the meth, so they were probably agitated because it was early in the morning, and she was probably crying, wanting to be fed, wanting to be all that stuff. And so they were probably just like, uh, you know what I mean, and like pushed her face too hard and just kind of like was roughhouse her. You know what I mean? So as I'm saying, and I'm and I'm, I, I, and I'm just guessing because they admitted that meth made them aggressive. So I mean, I, I watched like I said a little bit of the trial. Um, I watched more of the cousin's testimony because his made more sense than what the parents did. Obviously he was telling the most truth because you could tell it was eating him away that like he went over there and did that with them. And he feels like maybe he contributed by smoking it with them. Um, but again, I mean, you play with the devil, the devil plays back. So
Yeah, I know. Me too, Jinx. I don't give either. Yeah, I'm not saying it wasn't from him, but the thing is, Anne is like she lied a lot. She lied a whole lot. And like I'm not saying he never hit her, but um she never stopped it. She never left. She never um I mean, if he's beating the shit out of you. I mean, he had a criminal past of being aggressive. He was on methamphetamines with her, so she knows what he was like on him and you left him him with the baby. So it's kind of still on her a little bit. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Supposedly, Courtney. Oh, no way. They probably did. I didn't see anything about the mom. Hi, Mysterious. How are you? Pretty much. The cousin went over there to get high with him, and then he finds out the next morning that they killed him, and now he's like on a super guilt trip in jail, feeling like, God damn, if I never went over there and got high with them, maybe the baby'd still be alive. You know what I mean? Or if I would have stayed. And because he said that they were being loud, kind of told he didn't say badly though that they were being loud, just that they started getting loud and kind of like rowdy. And so I think he wonders if like if he would have stayed a little bit longer and watched their behavior, if maybe something that he could have taken the baby or something, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I was like, maybe the, the baby woke up right after he left. I'd have to do a reading on it. Um, I can do it now, actually. Ask how the uncle feels about it. I, you know, I want to do something because nobody, like I said, I've done the readings for the last two nights, but I guess I'll just start, like, letting y'all decide. Y'all can kind of drop in the comment box when y'all want to do the readings because, um... Oh, thank you. They're a little bit, like, glary, and I apologize, but my light's right above my eyes, and so I'm trying to, like, keep it to where it's not there. Um, yeah, I know. I know that, Anne. And that's what I'm saying, but I don't think she's in it as innocent as she says, because even if he beat the crap out of her, like she says, then he was beating the crap out of the baby, too, and she knew it. So... She put that baby in danger. And that's what the judge told her. That's like throwing your baby into a snake pit and then going, well, I just wanted them to, um, I just wanted them to, um, experience nature. Okay. Well, it was a bunch of fucking rattlesnakes and you know that they could kill them. And why would you do that? You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, that's why he gave her the, the sentence that he did because she was irresponsible about it. It was her fault too. She kept those things around her children. She didn't move and get away from it like she should have. And she can't use her past as an excuse because a lot of people have a shitty past. So that's not an excuse. So like I said, I'm sorry if it did happen to her, the abuse, but she did nothing to stop it. That's the thing. And she kept it around her children and the drug use. And she kept using She her, her baby was two weeks old and she was already doing meth again, like hooked on it to where she had to go do it the very same day. Her kid went missing because she was withdrawn. Two weeks. So how much were you doing it in two weeks that you were already withdrawn within two weeks of your own baby's birth? Well, that's what I'm saying. Were you doing it while you were pregnant? It makes you wonder. So let's see. Oh, I'm sure she's had her ass beat. So I'm going to ask about the uncle, though. Oh, yeah, I've been doing this for, like, since October now. Um, I do a lot of readings, but I get a lot of shit, to be honest. And so um, I've been kind of keeping my channel to a low. That's why I said I, I do the readings where I set them up for the night. But if nobody's, like, interested in them and nobody, like, you know, I'll, I'll end the live a little bit early now to where I don't have to deal with as much um, – of the trolling and all the other stuff going on. And that's why I've been uploading videos and, um, I hold all comments for review. So any comments that are made, um, it's not that your comments aren't going through. I watch y'all's comments before they come through. So, um, if they're not appropriate, they will be declined. And the same thing with the, um, Southern Solterra. I know I've said it once or twice, but I'm gonna say it again the last third time and I won't accept it no more. Um, as far as the request, if you cannot answer every single question, 
and agree to the terms on the Southern Soul Tarot group page, which is private, then you won't be accepted. So please don't even waste the time to um, act like you're going to fill the application out properly um, because you will be denied. And I don't feel bad for it because like we're taught to follow directions in kindergarten correctly, you know, from the last thing I remember. So if I'm asking you to answer four questions and you refuse to answer the last one that says, do you agree to the terms that the admin's giving you so that you're not going to start problems and you decide to leave it blank. That pretty much tells me you're here to start problems. So um, don't come to my page anymore and ask to join it. If you're not going to answer the questions and I'm dead serious. Um, so here we go. We're going to find out how the uncle feels about the night before what happened the day of and how he feels now. So um, what's going on there when he got there? Um, he is feeling that, um, somebody was being like, um, the king of swords in reverse. So I kind of feel like this is, is, uh, McNabb. I feel like he feels that he was playing mind games with, I don't know what birthday he has, but it is a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And it is in reverse. No, it's only four questions, but whenever I ask them to finally agree, do they promise to follow all the rules? They don't want to click yes. So it's like, if you're going to keep doing that, then you're going to be declined. So I'm not, I'm not doing it to be rude, but I've made it very clear that you must answer all four questions, which all you have to say is yes, yes, yes. And then, um, click agree and they choose not to. So they're going to be declined and they'll continue to be declined until they learn how to answer it properly. So obviously they don't want us to know who they are or they're being nosy. So, um, and thank you, Kim Smith, for the donation. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, that you can just drop it in the box, and I will see it. Um, the card that came out underneath the king of Swords in Reverse is going to be a decision that he felt that needed to be made about the earthly realm with the equal give and take. And that's what I'm saying. He felt that the mother and father between the two of them were making the decision that they wanted to have an equal give and take, and the baby was taking that away from them. So that's what I feel... Um, Oh, thank you, Red. Love you. Um, so let's go ahead and see. So, yeah, this is still the uncle. He's coming in the day of, and he's trying to tell them, like, you have a beautiful baby. Like, calm your asses down. Get off the drugs. Think about your emotions for you and your baby. And everything will be okay. You know what I mean? But, like, stop making it something it's not. You know what I mean? Because y'all are over, dra dra like, dramatizing it. It's not as deep as y'all are trying to make it. So, um, how does he feel about the day of? The day of, he thought that when he was there, that they were giving him a very good, um, like, a very good front of what they were pretending. That they were a happy, good, together family and that everything was fine, right? So, um, thank you, Arthur. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Like I said, we're just doing right now the spread for um, McNabb's, um, or actually, Bell's cousin. He felt that they were unjustified the way they acted that day. And so he feels that um, what they did was wrong in the eyes of the Lord, in the eyes of the court, because they murdered their own baby. Well, thank you to everybody in the room. Thank you to all the donations. We greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, yeah, she did not feel the Empress energy. She was not happy about having a baby. She was over it. And so, um, I think that's why he said she was a bit off that day. Oh, thank you, Red. We love you. So let's see, um, how else. So he's saying she was out of her energy. She wasn't behaving right. She was, um, more emotional about like reminiscing on the past. Like, she was looking at what it was like before she had this baby. And she was waiting for the Three of Wands to come in, which is probably her and him. and Or wanting to hold on to her and him. But there, she's waiting for whether someone to fix the situation or something to change. So that is what is going to be that. So why else does he feel? He feels if he never left two of the Three of Wands, that he could have stopped what was coming in. So I do think he regrets leaving. I do feel that greatly. I feel like I hear a lot of, um, I wish I was there. Yeah, see, because he went and he went, he wishes that he was in the hermit mode and stayed. 
and kind of thought more about their behavior and that it would have put he would have been able to see the ten of wands burden that they were carrying towards the child. So he does have great regret for that for the uncle. So, um, also how the uncle feels, he feels like he has lost strength within his family because of her and her actions and her, and her, whatever he is, um, it's her boyfriend, but he's a piece of shit. So, um, we're going to go ahead and clarify the spread for the uncle and how he feels about the, um, parents being in jail and, and him testifying against them as y'all come into the room. I'd greatly appreciate it. Y'all give it a thumbs up. We are going ahead and channeling for, um, baby, um, Again, I don't want to say it wrong because it is a very, um, here it is, Kalia McNabb. She was two years old and she was murdered by both of her parents. So like I said, her skull was fractured, completely broken. Um, she had an incision by her eye to where somebody had like basically used a sharp object to cut her eye by her eye or inserted it there. Um, they put her in a bag, left her in the woods. And then whenever um, everybody else was looking for her, they were off getting high with their friends, smoking meth. So um, if you're interested in this kind of conversation and these kind of live tarot readings, I greatly appreciate it. If you give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell and the subscribe bar, and that way you will be notified in the future whenever we have chats like this in the future. And then you can go ahead and ask in live time any questions that you might have once it spreads over. We're about to start clarifying it now. So again, I want to thank you all for being here. And we are going to see why the King of Wands is here, and or the King of Swords is here for in reverse for the day that he, yeah, he wishes that um, he would have stayed because he saw that the father was acting a fool in reverse. So he wishes that, um, he said he didn't see much of a difference, but I think as he looks back, he does now. He sees that they were acting not right because towards the end when he was getting ready to leave, he did say they were being loud. And that they were um, going back and forth about. He didn't say they were arguing, but he said they were being loud. So the two of wands and the six of pentacles are both reversed. Why? Because they were overindulging. It's all three of them. Like he said, it was him, her, and and um, the boyfriend that were smoking the meth. So, but he still did try to bring in the emotions and show them how lucky they were to have a brand new baby, how beautiful she was. So. Um, that's why he went in there to go look at her and told them to be quiet because they were being too loud. And again, he was looking at her like she was a loving mother, but she wasn't. She was in the um, three of cups energy. So she was not being the loving mother that she presented herself to be next is the two of cups. So that's going to represent them right before they murdered um, the baby. So let's go ahead and see what two of cups they were showing him and why again, they were waiting for him to leave so they can go ahead and murder the baby. They were tired of having to deal with it. They pretended as if they were happy to have her, but they weren't. They wanted to go on with their two of wands and leave the last wand behind. So why is justice in reverse for when they murdered her? Because they beat and battered her. That is exactly what the seven of wands means. The baby felt that obviously it was a baby. It could not defend itself, but its spiritual self felt very um, attacked, which it was. And so that's when the guide stepped in, pushed her out of her body. And that's when they let um, she left. And that showed what the mother's true energy was towards her and the father. So why is the Empress in reverse? Because she came in as the queen of swords. She wanted things her way or no way. And she felt the baby was in the way. So she decided to go ahead and get rid of her. So again, I really do feel like it's a lot more of the mother's energy than what she claims. So why is the, um, let me see. Why is a queen of cups here with the six of cups represent like um, reminiscing on the past with the three of wands waiting for something to happen in the near future. She's waiting to get out. I think soon this is going to be the uncle again. I know I'm saying he and she, but it's going back and forth. She's switching between them. She's talking about their whole relationships. He is saying he's going by him testifying against her. He brought in harsh information on the, on the, um, on the mother who was trying to pretend like she had nothing to do with it with the six of cups that she missed the child. And he is saying that she's lying, that she didn't miss the child. She knew exactly what was happening. And that's why she didn't um, react when it happened. So 
The last card you have is the three of wands for how she felt. And then she has. So that's why he kept saying why he didn't understand why she was acting like she didn't know or she didn't understand what was going on. So why is the hermit here? Because they wanted the two of wands. They wanted it to be just them and they wanted to rule the world and they didn't want her in the way no more. So that is why the hermit is here. He's got his back to the hermit. They're not taking the introspection to learn how to love their daughter. They don't care. They just want what they want. Why are the Ten of Wands here? For what else the um, uncle feels about them and how their behavior was. They felt exactly. The hermit's in reverse now. So they didn't take the time to go into the hermit mode like they should have. With it up right before with the Two of Wands. So now it's in reverse because they didn't do it and they walked away from it. They chose not to do it and they have no strength. And the uncle feels that he has no strength because he walked away from helping. Well, he feels that if he would have stayed, it would have helped and it wouldn't have happened. So, um, well, the strength in reverse is a lot of cards. Just one, please. Hold on. Strength is in reverse because they're coming out of the four cups. So they're saying no matter what would have happened, that um, with it upright, they're not happy with what offer they're ever given. So no matter what offer the parents would have been given, they didn't care. It was the drugs, the, the money, and the freedom. So they didn't care about the baby. The baby never mattered. So it was all about them. That's what I'm saying. It was their life, them too, and then their lifestyle. So it's coming out of it now. So she realized it had nothing to do with her. It was all them and not her. So that is the card she gave her that. And then she also has the six of cups in reverse, which means they took her childhood from her with the four of cups because they did not care. So um, they did not care that they took away the childhood she could have had because they cared more about their own. So that is what her reading is for the uncle, how he feels and what he thinks of the parents. So um, that's going to be the only reading that I'm going to do for them tonight. Unless y'all have any questions, that's what my um, you can use the cash app, Venmo, and PayPal. If y'all do have any questions, if not, I'm probably going to get ready to go ahead and sign out because we're getting ready to go on an hour. And it's a little bit late. I haven't eaten yet, so I do want to do so. So yeah, I mean. Everybody, I think everybody goes through a little bit of postpartum, you know? I mean, I mean, I, I mean, it's not postpartum, but it's an adjustment, you know? So, I, I mean, to sit there and use it as an excuse to be full of meth and, like, have your child end up dead, I think you're a little bit of a fucking lying bitch. Like, you're just full of shit and, like, you like drugs and you couldn't wait till you had that baby so that you'd go get high if you weren't already doing it whenever you were pregnant. So I, I don't think, I really don't feel like she ever stopped doing it when she was pregnant, to be honest, because if she was already withdrawn two weeks after that baby was born, she was doing it before that she was. So good night, Amanda. Oh, I'm not doing any reading. I didn't see you send a pay, a PayPal. I'm sorry. I'll check it now. I have all these ridiculous amounts of messages coming through. Not y'all's messages. Like, they're like emails that I never signed up for. So I don't know where they're coming from. Okay. Oh, it went away. It's Megan and Pamela. Y'all both want to do the readings? So Meg R12. Which reading did you want to do, Meg R12? Did you want to do um, a question? Or did you want to do one of the that I offered? And then Pamela too. Whichever one you're interested in. I have the what the F spread. And then I have um, the um, pushing through it spread that we had the other night that we didn't get to. So, um, yeah, I know. Thank you, Star. I just didn't see which reading she wanted. I didn't know if she wanted the what the F one or the, um, unless y'all saw it and I did it. Thank you, Karen. You too. Pushing through it. Okay. So, let's see. 
All right, so Megan will be next because she did pay first. So we're going to go ahead and do the what the F spread. Oh, no, pushing through it. I'm sorry. So we're going to do the pushing through it spread for Meg. Excuse me. Sorry, I didn't hear it. My phone's on silent. And Pamela, you want to do a question? Okay, after I do Meg's, I'll um, see what question you have. You're welcome, Karen. I think I said that already. No, we're fine. So I'll do y'all's too. I don't think I have any more coming in. Let me check real quick. If I do, I'll add it, and then we'll just kind of, you know. No, it's just y'all too. I'm fine. They're only seven card spreads. They're not hard. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do Meg's first. She is doing the um, pushing through it spread, and then we'll go ahead and do um, Pamela's, and she's gonna ask a question. Thanks. So thank you to Megan and Pamela. Exactly. Star. I want to thank them for donating to the channel. We will have a new deck coming in soon called the Royal Della, the Gilded Tarot Royal Della, Royal, <laughs> I can't say it, Royal deck by uh, Sergio Marchetti. And that's the deck we've been waiting for. So we did use the money for that. So thank you again for y'all's donations to add to that um, that brand new deck. And I know y'all will love it. It's borderless and it's beautiful. And I can't wait to share it with y'all. So let's go ahead and do, I always said, Meg's reading. She is doing the pushing through it spread. All right, so I'm going to ask your spirit guides to join my spirit guides to let me know what it is that they want you to know that will help you push through the current situation. So we have Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, and all that is good source of the spirit guides to come upon us with our um, ancestors to let us know. Um, what do you have to look forward to? You have to look forward to an opportunity coming up. This is usually the grass is greener on this side, but he's not staring at these cups. He's staring at these cups. They're saying, don't worry about what's going on over here. Worry about what's right in front of you because you will be offered something soon. So that is what um, you have to look forward to. So that's what you need to do to keep pushing through it. Um, what do you need to be mindful of in this situation, though, when you do take this offer? You need to be mindful that it's going to come in a little bit slow and a little bit backwards, but it is going to be an odd offer. It's not going to sound like legit at first, but um, we're going to keep pulling more cards to see how legit it actually is. Um, what will it look like in, in numerous, in, let's say six months to a year from now? How will it look for you? Um, I'm not liking the offer. To be completely honest, it's in reverse, the sun. Unless you want a brand new change and you want the universe to give you a brand new start, then go for it. But um, it's kind of like going against your will a, a little bit because it's in reverse. So it's a brand new start that somebody else puts in motion for you. So that is something that you um, kind of want to look out for within the next six months to a year. How to push forward through this when it does happen. You will be taken out of the cold because all the secrets will come out that they do hold. And then um, I'm going to hold these up before I hold up the other two. So you will come out the cold once this person tries to restart the sun behind your back. And secrets will come out. And the next two cards you have is that you'll have to make a choice. And you will make the choice with the victory. It'll end up with the victory once you do make that decision. So that is your next card. Number five, what, could, uh, what can distract you from finishing this goal? Someone is going to try to give an unequal give and take and it's going to, they're going to do it in the eyes, like say like almost like, um, put a guilt trip on you about it. Like make it sound like if you were a good person then you would do it. So I wouldn't listen to that because they're lying. So, um, how to stay positive during the circumstances. 
move away from their po- uh, negative asses because you don't need it. So st- that's the way you stay positive. Keep doing your own thing, go in your own direction. You're not looking at them. You're doing your own thing. Something that you need to know about this journey and how what you will learn from it. Sorry, my hair is caught in the cards. All right. So you got three cards. You are the magician. So you can manifest something. You are also the empress. So you do possess most signs and that you do have the seven of cups. But I know as long as you use it properly, it's okay because you do possess the uh, res and um, empress energy, was, which is the earthly energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you do, uh, and so is this one. This also represents Virgo, Gemini. It's a Mercury card. And seven of cups is a water. So it's going to represent Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But it also is an intuition card, and it is something that helps you manifest brand new things. So let's go ahead and get a um, Purpose of Life card for you and see what the Purpose of Life card is for you and how you can get through this. Do you have any ice? No, you need to get some water. Here. Can I have some ice? Go put ice in it. So um, let's see what... Your, do you have any questions about that, Meg, before I move on to your Oracle card? My computer frozen? Okay. <laughs> I'll make my juke. Star rest. said hi, Andrew. What? My friend said hi. I'll make my juke. Can you say hi back? Hi. Hi. Okay, so you're good with the, the, the spread then, Meg? Okay, so we're going to do your purpose of life. So what is the purpose of life they want you to know? That you are an author. You have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make time to write it out. So I don't know if you like to write or you like to read, but it is saying that if you use those in place, then that you will go ahead and um, be able to help others. So is that is that reading good for you, Meg, before I move on? I just want to make sure you're happy with the reading itself. She's very sweet. So we have Pamela next, and then Pamela has a question. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, Mom. Um, me. what? I want my bacon tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> well, congratulations, Meg. I mean, Thanks, it's always, Mom. you're welcome, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm talking to the people on the computer. Um, <laughs> you're, um congratulations, Meg. Like I said, it's always a well, blessing to have another baby. Um, so if someone's not happy about it, then they probably don't belong in your life to begin with. So, um, Well, you and your husband have another baby. Okay. Mom. Yeah. Chris built my tent. He did. Yep. Cool. And there's a lot of room for me. Yay. Voice. Good. All right. So we're going to see if Pamela will have another baby with her husband because they've been trying for a while. Will you turn off the light, babe? Sure. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Mom. Love you. Love you too, Mom. Bye. Where's Rex, Mom? Uh, I think he's asleep somewhere. I don't know. Um, let's see if Pamela is going to be having another baby with her husband anytime soon. So we're going to do a past, present, and future for you. So the past, recent past, present, and future as far as y'all having a child and what y'all have to look forward to. Um, so in the recent past, what has been holding up from having a have child? Um, Y'all have been planting seeds, but for some reason, the seeds are not harvesting. So um, that is the recent past, though. So let's see what else is going on presently as far as having a baby. How do you... Um, the Knight of Pinnacles is bringing in something slow, which means there is an earthly offer. It is going to come in slow. And it's going to come in, but it's going to be slow. But it is something going to be of the earthly realm. So now you got two Pinnacles on the board. So those are um, most of the time again. Taurus represents fertility, and that is an Earth sign. So these are Earth cards. So let's see what else is coming up in the near future. We got two coming out. So. Um, you will walk. You will walk away from something, 
but you're going to get harsh communication about it. Maybe you're going to walk away from the fact that you've been trying so hard and that you're finally getting the answers that you want. Let's see. So why is seven pinnacles here for the recent past? Because of the King of Wands. The King of Wands feels as if he is putting a lot of energy into it, but it's not working. So that might be your husband. Let's see what the Knight of Pentacles is here for. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Who are they and what are they doing? They see that you're trying to have a brand new start and that you're heartbroken at the moment because you're not able to have this child yet. But in the near future, you're walking away from something with the Seven or the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here in the near future with the child coming in or not coming in? The High Priestess is here. So it says that something will happen. Y'all might have to take a little bit more measures than you normally do. And then once you do, you'll be able to walk away from that situation. Let's see what happens once you walk away. You will have a happy home. And there is a child on the card. So, um, again, and then there's also another form of life, which is a bunny. So, um... Yes, I do think it'll probably eventually happen, but I don't think it'll happen um, as soon as you would like it to, to be honest. Um, and I'm sorry to hear that, Pamela. But um, again, I, I do see the Four of Wands being the ending for, for you So and your family. So I feel like you're finally walking away from trying to plant these seeds, make something happening, and then something finally does and you're able to walk away from putting that much effort and then you're able to have the four of wands with the child like you wanted. So, um, again, I don't want to hundred percent say yes, it is, but from what I'm seeing on my cards, I would say yes, that you do have that. I'll pull an Oracle card. The angel answers, see what they say about it. Do you have any questions, Pamela, before I move on? Let's see what answers you have coming out from your angel answers about the baby if in the near future if it happens from your cards i see it happening but i want to go ahead and ask them it is saying it is up to you and you're gonna have to let go of things that have happened in the past i know that's hard to do especially when you lose um i've had i think most women have had miscarriages so, um, but they're saying there's no need to worry and to let go because things, uh, will change. So there is no need to worry and let go of that. Um, and it is up to you and within the next few weeks actually is your answer so far. So, um, that is what your angel guides are telling you. So, um, maybe within the next few weeks, you'll hear more answers as to when it might happen or it might happen within the next few weeks. We'll see. I don't know. You'll have to keep us updated and we'll see. But um, that is going to be your reading, Pamela, if you're okay with that. I don't think I've had any more come in yet. If not, then I'll probably go ahead and set out because I want to eat dinner and go to bed, if y'all don't mind. <laughs> Are you okay with that reading, though, Pamela? Okay, good. So does anybody else have any questions about the um, the video or like just any other questions that I can answer very quickly before we sign out that y'all would like me to look at or anything like that? I'm not guaranteeing that like I'll connect to the case, but I'll definitely look at it and see if there's anything else. You're welcome, Pamela. As then I'm sorry to hear about the past, but like I said, there's always, you know, the future to look forward to and just try to stay positive. The best that you can. Thank you, Arthur. So, you're welcome, Pamela. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. 
Um, but I want to thank each and every one of y'all for being here and waiting. I greatly appreciate it. We're going about an hour now, so I'm just going to sign out. Um, I got to get up early with my son. He took an early nap today. You are welcome, uh, Samantha. And um, when did Dennis Martin go missing and how old? Jinx. Yeah, right. I need to go eat. I'm always hungry. Hi, Red. I saw you. What you doing? I love you too, Anita. And I'll talk to you soon. I've been waiting. Um, I'm going to take a day off soon, so then I'll be able to um, <laughs> you have enough ice. That way I can be able to catch up with the people I've been needing to get with. Late 60s? What's his name again? Yeah, hold on. Dennis Martin. Was he murdered or was he just disappeared? Oh, he went, he went missing. Okay. All right. So I'll look that up. See what I can find on that. So, right? <laughs> Blast that eye. She's frozen. She let it go from last night. On Father's Day. Okay. I'll look it up. So. Thank you very much, Jinx. And... I will check it out and see what I can find. But I said, I'm going to go ahead and find something to eat, though, because I'm starving. So um, I will talk to y'all soon. I greatly appreciate y'all being here. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for being part of the Southern Solitario fam. I will talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good night. Be safe and do not go out unless you need to. If you do, make sure you wash your hands and take everything with y'all. And um, take a very good bath and things when you get home. Because you do not want to get this virus. From what I hear, it's very hard on different numerous people. So good night to everyone. Y'all have a good one, and I will talk to y'all soon. Love you guys. Talk to you soon, Southern Zoltero fam. Good night.